I'm not going to do the intro music this time. It was just enough. That was enough for me. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. Everybody wants to hear it because you know who we are? We're the Two Clouded Mind Show. Old news. We're like an old bitch right now. Pussy's old news. Don't listen to this guy. Season two, we got new shit coming for you. Yeah, we do. Hi guys, welcome to episode two. Episode two, season two. Welcome new subscribers and old. Thank you for joining us. Um, fun little, fun little show. Hopefully, keep you entertained. We got some interactive stuff with you uh, as we go through our segments here. We want you to comment on the page and tell us what you would do in these situations, or um, not to give it all away, but you know. Your experiences with certain things that we bring up. Spoiler alert, Ryan just found out about this episode 35 minutes ago. 35 minutes ago, indeed. Yeah, spoiler alert, again, I write the episodes. (laughs) Way to pat yourself on the back, Chris. You edit and do all the other stuff. Actually, today I'm doing everything except for editing. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I'm definitely... Huge pat on my own back. He's stepping up sure. in, the, in the world, fucking relieving me for once. Oh, shut the fuck up. Wink, wink. I ain't relieving nothing. <laughs> so I what the won't fuck do you have planned for nothing. today? So, we're going to do a couple of little segments. Fun little, you know, ditties here and there. Jimmy Jams. Little Jimmy Jams. This is not going to last to the last segment, unfortunately. That means we just got to roll another one. <sighs> Better get to doing it. <laughs> so, yeah, I didn't roll two joints. Besides, I was ready 20 minutes ago. Yeah, but we were just uh, working on the back end of uh, trying to make this an enjoyable episode. It's, it's an enjoyable episode because they get to see us. Where's your paper? What are you talking about? Your, your little packer paper. My fucking packer paper right there. A little packer paper picker. <laughs> Say that three times fast. No way. No, there's, there's actually, I was watching this one YouTube channel and they were doing, um, like tongue twisters, but like back in the Dizay, like pilgrim days, like they had to say some really weird shit and that's that's how they kept themselves entertained. Like back in the day when there was pilgrims, there was no television, there was no, what 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 does pilgrims have to do? With tongue twisters, yeah, I they made that. these specific tongue twisters up. Like what? Now Were you're they... gonna catch. See, I wasn't prepared for this. Now you're gonna try to catch me off guard. Yeah. Um. Uh, what was some of the stuff they had to say? They had to put like a spoonful of like whatever food they were eating in their mouth. Mm-hmm. And oh shit, I can't think of any of the tongue twisters. Like all they're right, all well, melting. We'll get together. to that in the middle. Just carry on this episode, and I'll get you some shit. Yeah, we'll 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 figure that out. It's it's really funny. And if you want to check that channel out, it's it's Good Mythical Morning. Oh, okay. Those, those are some cool guys. Yeah, they do some. It's an old episode. You got to you got to dive deep. But uh, while Ryan's doing that, Ryan's fixing up another joint. I'm gonna uh, go ahead and segue into our first first little segment here. And what is that? We're gonna be doing funny. Tinder profiles. Oh, that's first. Yeah, that's first. Tin- okay. Tinder profiles are first. Um, we've all had one. Some of us still do have one. I think the next episode is grinder profiles. Uh, yeah, I'm okay with that. Uh, next episode, you're gonna make a grinder profile for yourself. Actually, no. actually, dude, I get enough shit on Facebook as it is. Comment Wait, below. No. Comment below if you think Ryan should make a grinder profile immediately. And then it's false can, advertisement, guys. It's okay. You can be friends. You can have friends. You're allowed to have friends. I'll just promote our, our podcast on my, on our, my yeah, guy. As long as you're not an asshole to these poor people. So I had this guy message me recently, and he was like, hey, what's up? And I was like, taking a shit, honestly. But I was like, why is this guy messaging me? You owe like $100 to the tip drawer. I'll just take it and give cash at me. <laughs> no, this is, but this is a real story. There's no going around it unless I'm going to lie to you guys, and I'm not going to do that. 
So, yeah, uh, you can smoke that for a minute. As as I'm doing my business, I get a message, and this guy's like, hey, what's up? I'm like, hey, do I know you? He's like, of course you do. And I'm, like, searching his profile. He's got, like, weird pictures. Says he lives, like, in Tom's River next to me. And he's like, what are you doing? And I'm like, uh, I'm working. Can I help you? He's like, I have my shirt off. Yes! <laughs> Yo, and I was like, yes! All I could say was, bro. And he And he responded, okay no you should have said pics or it didn't happen that's what you say no 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 no. i don't need that shit on my phone <sighs> the amount of shit weird shit you have on your phone you're you're probably right i have some weird shit on my phone you definitely have weird shit on your phone that i've sent you and it's not even that because i just had a guy message me the other day and i said the same thing and his response was i'm sorry i just thought you were cute so i added you and i said no harm like no problem it's not a big deal i'm straight if you want to uh if you want to see more of me you can go on youtube.com slash two cow to mind show and he just said lol i have i'll show you i have the messages to prove this is a real real fucking thing and so i, I mean, guess maybe the guy was just trying to be friendly which is fine that's fine. There's no harm, no foul. He didn't cross any lines. And, I mean, Jesus Christ, even if he did cross the line, who cares? How many times have you slid into a female's DMs and been a total fucking dirtbag? Uh, I've had it quite a few times. You've had before. quite a few. Yeah. I've had quite a few. The masses have had quite a few. Yeah. So, yeah. But, you know, it, 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 it happens on both ends of the field there. But on Tinder, it's a totally different story because I don't know what you have planned, but I know what I've been seeing uh, online about Tinder. And well, let's see if they match. I it. didn't really, I didn't, I'm not like doing like this big expose on Tinder. I was just searching the interwebs and I found a couple profiles that made me chuckle a little bit. I mean, I found hundreds, but I narrowed it down to this couple, you know, just to keep. Keep the segment short, keep the people entertained, but uh, definitely smash the like button if, if, you, if you're having fun so far while we're... Swipe right. Yeah, you smash the like button and swipe right. Um, so without further ado, this is our first Tinder profile. Okay, Harley Hi. Quinn. Harley Quinn, yes, her name is Lee. And it says, I love, I love cats and cocaine. <laughs> cats and cocaine. That's her that's, bio. That's it. I love cats and cocaine. Okay. I mean, shit. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> cats and that's like a hell of a statement. Like, I would just send. Uh, I don't even know. Uh, how would you approach that? Like, how would you approach that? Uh, aside from buying cocaine, because that's like a given, and that's um, probably what that profile's for. So. I'm out of the game, obviously, but had had I been in the game, I would approach that with a photo of myself. <laughs> with a line of with, blow on your cock. With a cat in my hand and a bag of fucking <laughs> that gack right here. I would make a profile as a cat holding up a bag of coke. Because now you're a cat and you have cocaine. You could cosplay as a cat with cocaine. That would be funny. Ooh, now that's a totally different story if I'm dressing up as a cat. No. I mean, she's dressed as Harley Quinn. Why don't you just cosplay as a cat? Get yourself all like a... It looks like catnip toy, but it's full of fucking yak. So you just... <laughs> 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 like the powder time, room? Poof. Yeah, every time you need a hit, you just smack I the I would Johnny Knoxville her and put like a bunch of cocaine near my asshole and then fart. <laughs> and have her go... <laughs> I mean, she looks pretty loose. I mean, she looks like she... she. Do you want to take her home to mom? I mean... No. I would because that's just my life. It's just <laughs> the, the roads I've, I've been down. But, you know, she could be a sweetheart. She, she could be a nice person. You never know. Yeah, maybe it's just a fake profile. Could be a fake profile. It might be a fake profile. I'm, I'm down with it. What else you got on there? All right, so... Next young lady. Is Jenna. All right. Now I'm not reading what she says. Like she said right now. L looks like a nice woman. Seems happy. You know. Uh, 
maybe it's an honest Tinder. She's looking for love. So you think Jenna's looking for love? Jenna, 21 years old, is looking for love? Is that, All right, so she's 21? She's 21. What, is she, what does Jenna want? Jenna, straight up, is down. <laughs> Finger popping bee holes, what I do best, I'll suck a fart out your ass. That's my last cig. Like it's my last cigarette, baby. Oh, so she's the she's the girl I want to put cocaine in my ass and fart. She's finger popping bee holes. What I do best, I'll suck a fart out your bee hole, out your ass. Like it's my last cigarette, baby. I used to work with a guy at this dealership, and he was like out of jail. Uh, always had to get piss tests. That's another another podcast. I'll tell you about that. But uh, his one thing. He would always say, uh, we did valet for the dealership, and we'd always see, like, girls get out of cars, and he'd be like, damn, I wish I was that seat. Oh, my God. Creeper. Right? So shit Creeper. like that off the bat. But he'd always say, when they walked inside, I'd suck a fart right out of that ass. Dude, I've heard that expression so many times. It's crazy. Like, yeah, I get it. Yeah, she's hot. She's got a nice ass. Would you really suck a fart out of a human's asshole? Farts are gross, dude. Yeah, I don't care. I mean, I'd suck fart out of the air that's been out of your asshole because you fucking... This dude likes to turn around one and day, fart in my face. One day in the studio, I had a little bit of an issue. One day. I've been pretty good. Studio's been clean. Clean of farts. It's a fart-free studio. But yeah, Jenna, 21. She will finger pop your butthole <laughs> and suck a fart right out of it like it's her last cigarette. She's got a great smile. She does. She means it too. Like, she's she's down. Oh, spoiled something. I just hit the wrong button. Sorry, guys. New to this. What did you just hit? <laughs> there we go. We got Nicole. She's twenty six years old. She's a registered nurse. Okay. Registered nurse. Keep that in mind. Looks to be of the Asian. That's what I was gonna ask. She looks to be. Bit Asian, and I'm treading lightly because I know there's different types, and I don't know. I'm just gonna broad strokes here. We're doing broad strokes. <laughs> I'm looking for a lifetime partner who is really hardworking, humble, healthy, and trustworthy. Healthy was in bold. Healthy, okay. all caps. She looks like she's pretty fit. Like goes she's, to the gym or stretching. Yeah, she's some yoga. she's definitely got body karate, and I don't mean that in a, <laughs> in a derogatory sense. But anyway, he must have both lungs and kidneys, heart <laughs> with a sinus rhythm, non-smoker and occasional drinker is fine, or take any substance that could damage the liver. Like she's going to harvest your liver. She's, That's the vibe I'm she getting. She 1,000% is going to total human centipede you. That's a red flag right there, for real. I need a healthy <laughs> liver candidate. Yeah, I gotta be honest with you. I'm swiping right on that just because I want to have a conversation with her about what she's really down down for. You never know. This might be a Tinder for like a, a kidney donation. I doubt that, but <laughs> I think you gotta try just, all avenues. I I, I think say. she's just a psychopath and she wants to kill you. <laughs> I'm done. All right, so now let's change gears a little bit. I already teased it. Boom, we got Kirk. That is the classic picture from the from the movie American Psycho. That's yeah. when he has the two hookers in the room. Which I don't even were they. I don't even think they were hookers. They might not have been associates of his. I gotta rewatch. It's been a while. But about Kirk, he's thirty one. This is pretty much what I look like having sex. <laughs> Boom. All right. So if you want the sausage, if yeah, if you want. You call Kirk. <laughs> <laughs> I got no he will, words. He will bust your muff like this. While he's looking time. in the mirror. In the mirror. Camera's not on us. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. Ryan just flexed for you guys hard. I did flex. You guys missed my muscles. He did. He doesn't have any. Love muscle. He, nope, that's not a thing either. Tinder called love muscle. Um, so that's Kirk. For anybody out there who's interested, he looks in, like somebody straight out of Always Sunny. Like, 
like a modern day Kirk would be somebody from Always Sunny, like he, a Dennis. Yeah, he looks like Dennis in that shot right yeah. there, for sure. All right, so with Kirk, who do we have next? Did her? What did you? There she is. All right, who's this? This is Danielle. Okay. 19 years old. Okay. This is the younger of... This is the youngest I went. Let's see. (laughs) Thank God. (laughs) And this was a little weird for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is this 19-year-old Danielle want? What are girls into these days? I mean, come on. We've got, like, I'll massage your fucking butthole girl. Yeah, she's not massaging buttholes. This girl right here... I want to sleep with you. No, I don't mean have sex. I mean sleep. Tonight, under the blankets, in your bed, while you're laying on my arm (laughs) with my other hand on your tummy, with the window cracked so it's a little chilly, and we have to cuddle closer. Cute. Okay. Cute. She she, She just wants a little love. She wants the touch of a human. I get that. I get that. Because sometimes sleeping's lonely. Yeah, for sure. Uh, okay, where were we at? You guys got to mind me. I can't read, and I'm blind. And this is very small. Uh, bah, 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 bah. No talking. Just the muffled sounds. Just the muffles cry. Just the muffled cries. Wow. Hooked on phonics didn't work for me. Just the muffled cries. That you slowly let seep away from your blood curdling mouth as I slit your throat and sacrifice your worthless life to the dark overlord. Uh, that uh, automatically deserves a first date. Y- if you're not putting a ring on that thing, you're stupid. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, she wants to cuddle, but she only wants to cuddle because she's about a. Let your throat and sacrifice you to the dark overlord. Hail Satan. This chick knows. Hail Satan. So that was Danielle. Boom. Amber, 20. Okay, which one's Amber? I see two. There's two girls. See, I remember when I was in my Tinder days. It's very confusing. You don't know who the fuck you're talking to, especially when there's only, like, one picture. Amber clarifies that Amber's 20. She's the one with the tits. Oh. I'm the one with the tits. Well, thanks for clarifying, because that would have been the first question I asked you, and if I asked that, that's, like, an automatic... I like... Yeah, that's, that's an applause from me. For sure. So, yeah, Amber... Thank you for clarifying that. <clears throat> She's like out there. There's really out there. There's really nothing you can much to touch on. I mean, yeah, it's her and her her best friend, blah blah blah. She has the one with the boobs. Can they see this? Yeah. They could see what oh, I'm doing. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> could you imagine? I'm like, Chris yeah. is circling the boobs. Sur- I, this is like an uh, anatomy lesson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god! So, Amber, nipple is the cent- center of the sex drive. That's the first question that you're going to ask, and that's the first thing you're going to think of. And honestly, she answered it to you. And I maybe she's just tired of like people messaging her. Which one are you? The one with the boobs? Yeah, true. Change your profile pic of just you. Yeah, and, and like not focus on your boobs. <laughs> All right. I've been planning that for a long time. Oh, God. Next, we have Brandon. Is he the one with the boobs? 26. <laughs> About Brandon. My dumbass parents gave me a boy's name, but call me Apples. I can fit an entire apple in my mouth. What more do you... What? Oh, it is probably... What more picture. do you need to know? I didn't even know? notice the apple was in his mouth. So, yeah, my dumbass parents gave me a boy's name, but call me Apples. I can fit an entire apple in my mouth. What more do you need to know? But what does that have to do with... Oh, my favorite letter is D. 
Her favorite letter is D. Oh, that's a chick. That's a chick. Her her stupid parents gave her a boy's name. Brandon. Brandon. <laughs> wow. Chris just uh dropped his mic a little bit. He caught it. He, he's got it. It was a good time. All right. So this girl, Brandon, 26, um, red hair, purple blue shirt, sitting in what looks to be like a, a tree. A tree. It looks like she's in the tree. She might be just like on a bench or something. Can fit a whole apple in her mouth. You know what that, and she says, you know what I'm talking about is like your cock and balls. Oh, yeah, for sure. <clears throat> I'm just waiting for uh, to turn Chris's mic back on when he's done uh, tightening it up. We're still good. Fuck yeah. We're still good. So, yeah, she's definitely in a tree with a fat fucking apple in her mouth. And I'm swiping right because I want her to send me a video. I'll pay her to send me a video. Of Brandy, her we want whole- you on our podcast because we want to see what you mean by a whole apple in your mouth. Are you unhinging your jaw like a snake and just going for it? I mean, and what's the largest thing you've ever put in your mouth? Just an apple. Is that why you're called apples? Maybe. All right. Is that the last one of the group for Tinder? Or- that was these are nothing like the things that I've been hearing about. Yeah, Tinder. no, that was. That was everybody. That was uh, that was Harley Quinn. We got all of them. Yeah, got her. The farter. <laughs> the, the farter. Nurse. The boobs. The one with the tits. Apple girl. Kirk. Kirk was firing it off hardcore. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. So what I've been hearing is Tinder is now is like nothing more than. Dudes with like f- like like a fish in their hand, like our buddy. Like dudes with a fish in our hands, like fishermen, like oh, on no a boat way. holding There's their like, prize fish. And you know what else I noticed? Everybody goes on hikes. No, you fucking don't. You don't go on hikes. Yeah, you just walk down your fucking national park. You or don't like, even do that. You don't even do that. No, no, no. Anybody who says they go on hikes, they love hikes. They don't go on hikes. It's a fucking fact. It's a, it's like an, a plug-in. You put that in every profile. What, hikes? I yeah. don't have a profile of me hiking. That's a thing. I'm not a fan of hiking. Last time I went hiking, I complained because it was all steps up. <laughs> all steps and, uh, up. Like, just step up. Like, it was mountain, so it was just, like, step after step after step. I hear that. I hear that. It's, you know, that's kind of what hiking in the woods is, though, you know? It is, it is. I got lost in the woods once, and it actually, I was upstate. They have woods upstate. Keep they, have, they have a lot of woods upstate. I thought it would be a good idea. It's a picture on my Facebook. I'm naked. I was like, fuck it. Oh, yeah, yeah, I saw that. I know what the picture you're talking my, about. Took all my clothes off because I wanted to be naked in the woods with nature. And how'd that go? Hi, guys. We're back. Ryan did that. I didn't do that. Um, so, yeah. Put my clothes back on. I walked for a while. With no clothes on. It was actually quite amazing. Naked nature is fun. But anyway. I've never been naked. You should I do it. Sh- next, uh, time, next time you're in the- I don't want to add to the jar, so I won't. And I've already talked about this on the podcast. So I'll, yeah, I'll- well, next time you're uh, in the woods hiking, take clothes off. It's actually, it's, I can't explain it. It's amazing. But anyway, it got dark out, and I didn't follow the trail. So I was in the middle of these woods, and there's bear. Jesus Christ. Did you, like, lay limp? No, 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 no. I actually found a road. Mind you, it's dark out. I found a road, and there was a car happened to be driving past. They stopped. They saw me. They were like, are you okay? And I was like, actually, no, I'm lost. Yeah. And they took me two and a half miles back to my car. That's wow. that's a that, first of all that's far. Second of all, that's a good Samaritan. Yeah. Third of all, they just saved you from that bear. They said, "Yeah, we're in peak bear season." I don't know if you can notice like all our garbage cans they had like these special like closing like all their garbage cans had like something on it or something heavy. It was locked. Okay. Because it's bear season and they when it gets dark out, they start walking around looking for food. Yeah. So yeah. that's my little fucking story. 
All right. But it was fun then to, to, to take it hike. It was fun. So we want you to tell us if you're on Tinder, um, what experiences you have seen. We want to know, like, all the, the yeah, creepy dude your profiles. Stories. Like, girls, tell us what's going on in the Tinder world. Do, did you stop using Tinder? Do you like Tinder? Does it work for you? Yeah. Hit us up uh, below in the description. What is some funny stuff that you, what you've seen? And I've been on Tinder. I've played the Tinder game, like, dumb statuses and, like, about me's and photos that don't necessarily show who you are. I'm trying to think. It's a fun like, time out there. I used to have really funny like headlines. It would just it wouldn't be it it was never this long drawn out thing. I think one time I even wrote just here to fuck. <laughs> Seriously, I think that was lay, my headline. Here to lay pipe with just the here to generic fuck, like, lay pipe shirt. Did I get hits? Did people swipe on me? Yeah, of yeah, course. Of course. It, it or like, moves. I'm a pizza, a piece of pizza. Do you like pizza? Swipe right. Yeah. Like, I've seen that in my day. Oh, if why? I could only go back in time. Like. Oh, Segway master over here, huh? Oh, you picked up? I'm a little stoned. But you did. But so, I did. guys, uh, take a trip with us. Whoa! To time travel. Yeah, look, I'm in an old timey vehicle. Dude. We're going to bring you way back to wherever you want to go. Yeah, so if you could time travel, where would you go? And why? Let me think about this. Yeah, I don't know where I would have to go to multiple places, I think. Um, if you only had round trips, round time travel trips, I'll make that clear. How many Two do you of get? Them. Two. Now, is this just like a quick visit or is this like to get a do over like this could be all right. Uh, funny that you bring this up. So you have one hour in each of your places. What are you going to do, though? That's like you have an hour What do you to do? time travel. Like, do you have any like moments where you wish you could change something historically or in your personal life? See, but butterfly effect, then you change something in the past, it could forever change the way history is written and your future. So you got to be careful with what you pick. Dude, you, you go back in time, you step on an ant. We might not be sitting here today. Ants might be doing the Two Clouded Mind Show podcast. That's what I'm saying. Like something so fragile as that. So, like, if you go into time travel, you basically have to be a spectator. Purely. Okay. So that's uh so, that, so that fucks up my whole thing, but that's what that's where my mind goes. It would have to be a spectator sport. But then my mind also goes to like the back to the future shit where like you steal the sports book and you can fucking win a hell of money. Like betting on shit. Horse races, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But then again I'd be afraid that because it like the time I would do that because like nobody needs to see you steal that book and then if you have it now yeah but what are you gonna do you're gonna post your bet online or something back in the Disney there's no online unless you just go back like two years and you bet on like a Super Bowl or something or like when Conor McGregor knocked out Jose Al but you're Aldo talking about time time seconds. travel going in this into the future to get a book that's in your present time no, no, no. If you go, like, you think of the Back to the Future. He went back to, what was he, the 50s or something? And he oh, got that with the, book, I got you, yeah. Sports Almanac. But you could just go into the future even a week from now. And get those Powerball numbers. Mm -hmm. Woo! Yeah. It's like a half a billion dollars. Disgusting. Yeah. I bought $10 worth. I didn't, I haven't bought a lottery like that in probably about two years. So what would you do? Like, so. Uh, if it's just a spectator sport, I mean, it kind of changes everything for me too. Cause if I could go back and do things differently, but still come back to today and this be unchanged, then yeah, I would actually go back and I would take school seriously. Mm -hmm. 
Um, I have no... Uh, I knew that was going to happen. Hold on, guys. Our friend, the fire alarm smoke detector is letting us know that we are smoking hella weed right now. And it just went off. And said that there's smoke here. Which there is. I don't know, like... For me, I feel like... If I were to go back in time as a spectator, it would have to be something that I would want to know the truth to. Because if... Hear me out, Chris. If, I don't know if you could hear me. If... If you could go back in time, does it have to be from your perspective or can it be anywhere in any time or moment? Like, it could be anywhere. So, like, if you wanted to know if... Yeah, but some truths you don't want to know, the truth. You're absolutely... That's what I'm saying. Some truths are better left the way they are. You feel me? Like... What if you just, like, go to Roswell on the day that the, uh... Oh, dude, I saw some shit speaking of Roswell and the aliens. <laughs> dude, I saw some shit. I'm not going to get into it because that's not the kind of podcast we're in. But if you guys want to go... Uh, no, we have a podcast holes, like that coming coming your way, actually. Yeah. <laughs> conspiracy um, podcast. That's a conspiracy, and we'll save that for this uh, conspiracy podcast. However, um... I don't know. Would you yeah. want to see, like... The Kennedy assassination, assassination, and see like who actually did it, just for your knowledge, like something like that. What if you can intervene? Uh, again, we're changing. I all right. So when I was like the age of three or four, probably more so four, uh, I used to live in my old house, and uh, my dad had these crates of Playboys in his closet with all this stuff from like when he was younger. And I would wait for everybody to go to bed. And I'm sorry, mom, if you're listening or whoever's listening, it's just, it's the truth. And it's kind of funny now looking back at it when everybody was asleep, I didn't even know what I was looking at. And I would just know that there's like these boobs in a crate that I could look at. And Boobs in a crate. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I legitimately, because I, I thought I was going to get in trouble. Or I probably would have, you know. And I would just, like, go to peep at a boob for, like, three minutes and then just go upstairs and go to bed. Didn't do anything about it. I didn't know why. I liked looking at it. It was just a boob that I knew I wasn't supposed to look at. Fair and enough. I would go back in time and yell at myself just to, just to see my reaction. <laughs> <laughs> like, what are you doing in there, kid? You're not supposed to be doing that. Meanwhile, it's just me, and I'm going to look at some guy that's in my house that I don't know who the fuck that is. You knew that was going to happen. No, I really didn't think that that was going to happen. And I would just yeah. I would just like to see my startled reaction as a child. Just this, one, see myself as a kid. Like Mr. Miyagi. Alright, so if you want to go that route... I was just listening to um, the Jason Ellis show the other day. Which, by the way, guys, I don't know if you guys got the memo, but we it, like we talked with Jason Ellis on our podcast, and that's season two, that was, episode one. That was last episode. We'll leave a... There'll we'll, be like a card. We'll keep a card here. Yeah, I'm, I might actually drop it right here. Right, right now. The, yeah, right now. <laughs> I forgot that we're not live, and I could just do magic stuff like that, but yeah, it'll probably be like right here. Boop. Um, no, yeah, so they, they were talking about if would, what would 19 year old you think about today you and vice versa? And what would you, like, would you, I'll be hate, honest, like, would you hate 19 year old you or would you should be like, yeah, dude, I think 19 year old me would look at me because I'm, I'm kind of doing exactly what 19 year old me wanted to do but it's not like that wasn't that long ago that's the thing uh for me it was about like 10 years ago longer than that for me it's 10 years is still a long amount of time like 19 year old me would be like wow 
you're fucking doing it. And I would look at 19 year old me like, you're having some good ass times right now, but stop being dumb and you can get this sooner. Like, yeah, yeah. 19 year old me, I was in a band. Um, Same. Was way out of school. I was not homeless. Um, I think at 19, I was living with just friends. I was like couch riding. I was the guy on the couch. I, uh, I think at 19, I lived in the crumb with Suzanne and her boyfriend. The crumb is what we named the neighborhood. We nicknamed the neighborhood. It was it's shit. like crumb. It was the shit. dude. It's just, we named it the crumb. That's a cool name. But you know what? I, I regret nothing. Some of the best times of my life. Like seriously, we had some crazy, crazy nights. Like that'll be another podcast, but they listen and they know, they know. Now, what if you had unlimited time from the moment that you went back in time to the point that you choose you want to go back? Do you come back as like your old self or do you come back as like when you went back in time? Your body's age is just in a different time, so it would be old, right? No, I mean, if you look back, like, well, time doesn't stop. The present time won't stop. Yeah. So, Ooh. yeah, your body does age. You know what certain, I would do? It's not going to age like... I cracked the code. If I were to go back in time, I would go back in time to whatever the hell I wanted to do. And it would be as long as I wanted it to enjoy. Maybe I'd go to different eras and like do different things, but I would make it a point to go back to the very moment in time I was going to decide to time travel and stop myself. So <laughs> old me knows all this shit. My, my timeline, my universe, but that would just start another timeline of me never going out and time traveling so i would live my life accordingly to as if i didn't time travel but the time travel like me the per the the version of myself that did time travel i would have all that knowledge you just fucked my head up you just fucked my head up it just does it do you get it though no it would set two paths i'm not it'd very be like, smart it would be like a linear version two two linear versions of like the universe of when i like stepped foot in that time travel and didn't because i did all this stuff and time traveled and then I went back to this moment and told myself not to time travel. So all that would have happened to me, but to the person that would, you know, I could have been, that's the only thing in time that would change. You know what I would do? I would go back and unspend the nonsense and the insane amount of money that I spent on absolutely nothing. Like absolutely nothing. Mm hmm I would do that. Yeah, but at the same time, over that's a butterfly years. effect. Like over the years, like what happens? Maybe you wouldn't have this podcast. Like you wouldn't have worked at Bar uh, Bar A. You wouldn't have met me. We would have. We you'd be doing your thing. I'd be doing my thing. I feel like something. Like I'm glad that this happened when it happened because it couldn't have happened at a better time for us. Same. But if we did this when I first mentioned it four years ago. <laughs> He's always going to be salty about this. I'm always going to be salty about yeah, this. Yeah, we would be ever. way ahead of the game. But no, I wasn't I wasn't prepared mentally for any of this either. Like streaming to me was in a world that was so different and like untouchable at the time. Yeah, now it's like this. It's And I didn't have the knowledge. Like I've I learned how to actually start this podcast and I'm still learning. And had to purchase the equipment to to do like live the camera shoots that we do in the studio. That we have like professional gear doing that, and it's not on a professional level, so to say, for a podcast. And it's but just it's the two of us. Good. It's just the two of us. Yeah. And I mean, I use that term loosely. Like, yeah, I'm, we're both here in front of you talking, blah blah blah. He really runs the tech end of the bullshit. I do what I can. I don't. Chris ma makes uh, all the thumbnails. Yeah, I do he the thumbnails on and stuff like that. Hey, blah, 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 he blah. makes the um, all the scenes now, which is pretty good. He yeah, today's good episode job. was like, shit, we just had an L ride, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
in space. Yeah, we just did an L ride in space. In where our, would you Where would you guys uh, time travel to, and like, what are the repercussions of like? I almost fell out of the car. Holy <laughs> shit! But hold on, hold on. Dude, I really almost fell out of the car. My back is still fucking hurting. We need a backrest. We need to get like. I already. I got. Oh my god. Giant chairs. Wait till. Wait till you guys see like this this camera angles and stuff that you see right now because I could just go right back to us boom these camera angles you see right now this isn't gonna be this isn't the final thing like we've got a lot coming for you they're, this they're, we're getting a new desk they can't see the desk you're actually gonna be able to see our desk um, and our legit background you're gonna see yeah our background our desk we're gonna you're gonna see more of us it's not gonna be this tight shot soon before season three before the end of this season putting a lot of pressure on me no no what, what, how am i putting a lot of pressure on it's you? gonna happen regardless guys it's gonna happen i already found two desks two of them. i've been looking for so long we're going it, it's gonna be longer none of this shit's gonna be here we'll be able to fit ourselves under it it's gonna be nice moving the camera back now that we're wireless be cool all this i'm gonna green we got the extra green screens we're gonna chris is dreaming hard right now i have nothing but time <laughs> and i live in the studio let's make it nice like i literally live in the studio yeah you do like the people are seeing this like the other day when you were like oh so what are we, we we need a podcast man what was it i live in the studio like when it, it just, just you don't even have to I just walk in yo let's do it okay done all right that's it we're gonna make it look so. It's gonna look cool in here. Dope. I mean, I think it looks cool in here now. I could easily turn all this green screen shit off, and you could see what it really looks like. But I'm not gonna do that. It's a cool place. It's pretty cool. It's all right. I don't. I don't mind it. But uh, yeah, let us know where you guys would time travel to. I would time travel to like when weed is just like unanimously fucking legal, like all over. Yeah. <sighs> I don't know. You you might be traveling for a long time. You might be traveling for a long time. We did uh we did just get it somewhat le I guess legalized in New Jersey for recreational. Yeah, it's um but it's a long path ahead of us guys. It's not just like you're just going to smoke outside tomorrow and be okay. I mean, all right. So this is this is the deal. Like you can legally smoke weed. Yes, you can legally smoke weed in New Jersey. Um is it on hold kind of sorta so they have to figure out what they're going to do with under 21 use how they're going to find them can't put them in jail mm -hmm. so that's what this whole shit is all about getting people out of jail because they're it's just going to be money yeah it's just me money so they have to figure out what they're going to do about that um in a, in a future episode we're going to have new jersey weed man ed um butchering this last name for she for Sheon. I'm sorry. Just, just we're say just what's up. The, we're just gonna call him NJ Weedman. NJ Weedman. <clears throat> we'll have him on, and he'll better discuss all this and 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 break it all down. Talk when about we could do this. His is a, it's a, not a dispensary, right? It's not that. Uh, I guess he opened up a dispensary. I don't know if it's a brick and mortar type situation. Like I said, we'll we'll have him on. We'll have him tell us all the goods, the ins and outs. Um, the bill states that weed right now can only be sold in dispensaries that are approved by the manu the marijuana regulatory commission okay so yeah you can go and buy with a card you can go and for and, medicinal for and medicinal and stuff so i don't know if there's a difference there then but well, that was already in place line. before this yeah i mean so there's obviously a fine line like th there's somebody else that wants to dip their hands in the pot you know what i'm saying the studio dog yeah, let's ask the studio doll. She's chilling. She she wants to go out of the room. She will soon. Uh, but 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 yeah, the the to get the dispensary approved by the Manu Marijuana Regulatory Commission, it could take up to eighteen months just to be approved. Just to be approved. Wow. Um, like I said, hopefully, Weed Man will clarify all that for us. But like, uh, you can smoke it. You just don't have anywhere to buy it. And buying it from non like legal places it's against illegal. the law. Yeah, it's illegal. So, so you're it's, forced to buy. It's like a loophole for the like. 
I mean, uh, I can't say I'm not into politics. I know nothing of them. Um, I can only hope that they figure this out sooner than later. So we Um, could all just smoke our joints and be happy. Even though we're doing it anyway, just make it legal. And if, I don't know. He'll, he'll, he'll clarify that. He'll, he'll be on the show soon. He's definitely uh, a season two. We got a lot. We got um got a bunch of people coming here. Um, just stick around. We're also doing Instagram lives. Keep up with that. It's more of like behind the scenes. That's feel. what I wanted to do. I wanted to fucking Instagram live this episode so people can see like the super behind the scenes while we're filming an episode. Yeah, do it now. What's that? Go Instagram oh, I gotta live go. Right now. This gotta episode's leave? over. Yeah. Oh wow. My Here bad. we go. Doing that twice. Two for uh, season this, one and season. I mean, episode one and two. I'm fucking. This fucking going. this fucking cunt can't get away from me quick enough. But he doesn't know that he's about to edit this video right now before he leaves, so we can upload it for you guys to watch. This um. Guy. So thank you guys uh, for sticking around again. Season two. Let us know your Tinder horror stories or funny stories. Let us know where you would time travel. You have two places, round trips, and it could only be for an hour. Um, one of which you have to like just be a spectator. The other, you could do whatever the hell you want. Hit us up in the comments below. Hit the hit the like button. Please so- subscribe. Share with your friends. Tell your mom, your grandma. Shit. Tell, your, listen to tell our show. your Tinder profile messengers. Yeah, like you should put that in your profile. Like, blah 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 blah. Listens to the Two Cloud and Mind show, oh, dude. You'll definitely get some pussy for sure, or some dick, hey, cock and balls. Either way, it's, it's a it's a free country. It really is. Um, ah, it, it took us away. I didn't want to do that. <laughs> Sorry oh, about God. that. But yeah. yeah, guys, thank you so much. Please like, comment, subscribe. Uh, we'll see you on episode three. We will stay clouded.